Hello everyone, Darianne here from Century 21. Um, I'm here sitting in my office at home where I have virtually spent the last two weeks. I do want to let you know your realtor is still out there. I want to give you a little bit of an update on what's going on there. Um, we are no longer allowed to do open houses. That's completely off the table. We are allowed to list properties. We are allowed to show properties if the seller will let us in. So a few things that we are doing when we're listing properties, well, I'll speak for myself. I don't know that every realtor is doing this, but um, I'm doing a lot of pictures and I'm doing what is called a Matterport. It's pretty amazing. It's like a 3D uh, walkthrough of the house, but it's much more than just a, you know, sort of panning the rooms. You can actually have a, a feature called a dollhouse feature where you pull right back and you look at the house as if somebody took off the whole side of the house and you can see inside the way you see inside dollhouses. Click in, so once you look at the dollhouse, then you can click inside and you can literally walk through the house by pushing your clicker. You can go through the doorways, up the stairs, down the stairs, uh, look outside the windows and see what's out there. So it gives a really good idea of the feeling of the house. So my, I'm doing that for all my sellers, my new listings that I'm taking so that we can reduce the amount of showings that between the uh, lots of pictures, lots of description, and the Matterport, you can rule out somebody who just says, I want to check out that house that looks interesting. Um, they can do a drive-by to check out the location in the neighborhood, and then they can view the Matterport to go, you know, to make decisions in their head of whether this is really a contender, so that we're only letting really serious buyers into the house that this is definitely on their list of a possibility that they want to buy. So that's what we're doing from a seller's standpoint. Some sellers are saying, look, can you help me take precautions? So one of the other things I'm doing is I have a letter that I send out to a realtor that wants to do a showing. He must and he must ask his buyer and sign the document. Have they been out of the country? Do they have any issues with illness whatsoever? And um, are they prepared to take precautions? So we have hand sanitizer at the front of the door. My sellers leave all the lights on, every cupboard door, closet door open, so you don't have to touch the doorknobs. We put numerous signs around the house, do not touch the countertops. You know, you don't turn on taps, you don't open kitchen cupboards, none of those things. Um, so that's the precautionary piece that we can do for our sellers. And most buyers are very willing to do that. Some sellers are willing to allow that to happen. I have some sellers, they have small children, they have elderly parents living with them. Um, they themselves may be compromised and they're not letting any showings happening. And that's their right, certainly. As far as my buyers are concerned, so buyers, I am doing showings if sellers will let us into the houses. I am screening people as much as possible. So I'm asking them, you really need to talk to your bank and see if you have been affected on any of the lending policies. If your job is still intact um, and, and that has not been affected, your income has not been affected, you'll be fine if you were pre-qualified in the first place. Something I just learned from uh, Bronwyn Watson, who works with CIBC, fantastic person to work with to get your financing in place. She has said that on a case-by-case -case, uh, procedure, CIBC is looking at buyers who have lost their jobs. So if they are in a position that they have lost their jobs because of social distancing and they will get those jobs back again when this is all over, they still have a chance of getting financed. If you have lost your job and the business has shut down and there would be lots of opportunities for you to enter the workforce with a different company, you may get finance. If you have lost your job, you were the business owner and that business is now no longer going to open, or you are an employee in a specialized business and you may not be able to duplicate that job, you may not get financing. So the first way I screen my buyers is they really need to talk to their bank and see if there are any new issues that have come up. By the way, today is March 30th. On any video I do, I want to name the date because I could be saying something that literally in four days will not be the case. So things are changing that fast and that dramatically. So today is March 30th. I screen them for their financial piece. I make sure that all buyers have driven by the house. They know where the local schools are, where the no local parks are. They've seen the neighborhood. I make sure that 
if they're going to view a house and we are going to ask a seller to let us in, that they don't drive up and go, oh, I don't like the neighborhood. We don't, we didn't even need to ask the seller for a showing then. The second thing, the third thing is they have to, we have to take precautions. So I ask all my buyers, have you been out of the country? Have you been out of the province in the last 14 days? Have you been around anybody who has been sick? Are you yourself sick? Any fever, any sniffles, even if you're quite sure it's just a common cold, I'm sorry, I can't take you into a house. You have to tell me in writing that you have not been out of the country, have not been out of the province and are feeling completely healthy and have not been around anybody who has been sick. Then we are going to use hand sanitizer before we go in. I'm going to, I'm going to keep six feet back, but I'm going to be watching what you do. You cannot put your hands on the countertops. You cannot open doors. The only door we want to touch is the front door and I will have wipes to clean it. We have to respect the seller's right to keep them themselves safe. So I ask you to look at the measurements of every room. So for the people who have king size bedroom suites, they require a big master bedroom. Let's look at the measurements of that master bedroom and see if it fits before we ever go in the house. Big kitchens. You have a big dining room suite that you need a separate um, dining room space that's quite large. So oh, my hair is just doing crazy things there. Let's um, make sure we can do as much of this due diligence and homework before you ever enter the house. Are deals still happening? Yes, they are. There are new listings coming on the market and there are buyers uh, buying houses. I'm getting a number of calls from my sellers who had plans to sell their house in 2020. And they're saying, what should we do? Should we list now? Because we hear the market is going to dump in the next two, three, four months when this is over. Or should we wait maybe even until 2021 and see how this all pans out? I don't have definitive answers for you. I mean, none of us have that crystal ball. We could turn a corner and start decreasing significantly in the next two or three weeks. Folks, we might be at this still in the summer. Who knows? So I can't tell you what's going to happen to the real estate market. A, a few positive things. The interest rates have dropped yet again. They're almost giving money away for mortgages and they're trying to stimulate the economy. If everything and was normal and the COVID virus wasn't here and the interest rates we're doing what they are doing right now, this would be a huge push for the real estate market. It would start, everybody would get out buying because they want to take part in that really cheap money. That's the goal of lowering those interest rates for the real estate business anyway. Is that enough to, to push our real estate or support our real estate industry? I don't think so. Is the fact that we're coming into the spring market and there's always a lot more activity, a lot more homes sold and a lot more buyers out looking for property, that's going to help. Is it enough? I don't think so. And what about the fact that we were very, very low on inventory, lots of buyers and no houses to sell? Okay, even before this started, when we were in January, February, we were unusually low on inventory. That will boost the recovery when we come out of this. So all of those factors, the interest rates, the spring market, the fact that we were very low on listings is going to help to buffer the downside. How big is that downside going to be? I don't know. Maybe we're going to lose five, six, seven percent on, on sale prices. Maybe we're going to lose 15, 20, 25 percent. I don't know. I know that the number of buyers and sellers that have pulled right out of the market, buyers have just said, no, I'm not buying. I'm going to wait till this all settles down. I had four very um, motivated buyers to buy in March. They all had issues that they needed to buy. All four have backed right off and they said, we'll make plan B work. Whatever we're doing, we're not buying a house right now because we think the market is going to take a significant down step and we want to do better on prices. So they've backed off. When you have buyers doing that and sellers saying, we really need to sell our house, but we're not going to list it because we don't know what's going to happen. And we're not letting people into our house. So it's ridiculous for us to let her, to put our house on the market. 
and not let anybody into our house. We don't think that's a good idea, so we're just going to back off. When you have sellers backing off, buyers backing off, it is going to impact our market. So, folks, I wish I had a silver bullet to be able to say, this is what's going to happen, this is what you should be doing, but I don't. So, it is going to have an impact on the market. How much? I don't know. Um, so, if you're thinking, I want to sell my house, let's talk. If you're thinking, I want to buy a house, I'm willing to go forward with it now, let's talk. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview of what's happening in the real estate market. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. If there's any way I can help you, um, I have a number of seniors in my church that I'm picking up groceries and prescriptions for. I have some family members that have young children who are very nervous of being out. I'm helping in that area as well. There's a lot of people out there helping other people. It's wonderful to see. It's wonderful to see how people will rise to the occasion to help one another. If you want to be kept up uh, when things start to change, I will be doing future videos. I don't want to flood your inbox with, you don't need to see my face four times a week. But I do have some, a couple of videos I'm going to do. Um, things have changed in the rental world and I have a number of investor clients that need to know what they can do with tenants and what they can't do with tenants. So I will be doing a couple more videos. Um, you're welcome to just hit delete. You won't hurt my feelings if it doesn't apply to you. But I want you to know that I'm here to help. Anything I can do, whether it's a simple phone call just to talk you through an issue, whether you just have a few questions, whether... You're thinking that you will at some point this year buy or sell and you want to just go on an automatic list and watch what's coming out, um, what is being listed and seeing what's happening to prices. Let me know. I'll set you up an automatic search. It literally takes about two minutes of my time and then it'll just automatically come to you with new listings as they hit the market. You know, a lot less listings are hitting the market, but they're still being listed. I am, as soon as the stats come out for the end of March, it's going to be an incredible comparison to last March in 2019 to this March in 2020. Those numbers will be interesting. So I will send that out as well. All right, folks, take care, keep safe, and um, we'll, we'll get through this. We're all going to get through this.